Okay, so hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to keep you updated on my fast food challenge. I failed. I really did fail. And it was disappointing that I did. <laughs> I didn't do like I wanted, like I didn't do what I wanted to do. I still have hopes that I can continue improving with everything that I'm doing. Anyways, for this video, I am doing a how to get over a breakup mainly because i just did story time i had a boyfriend like two and a half weeks ago and i thought everything was going well you know but anyways he ended up breaking up with me and story about this so i got really really sick i got the flu and it was like really bad i was in bed for like four days i was eating like barely one meal a day i wasn't going to work i wasn't going to school like i was sick on my bed and so mind you he calls me and he had he had told me he didn't have reception to you know like to give me like call me because he's he was in a small town in mexico and i was like okay yeah and my mom's like um we're in the 21st century like how can he not have reception there's like a messenger and blah 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 and i'm like no mom like He's just like, you know, he doesn't really have reception. Me being a dumb, I'm not even going to finish that. Anyway, so then he's like, hey, can we talk? Can I call you? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. I miss your boys and like whatever. Super excited about this. And so then um, he calls me and we talk. And then the next day he calls me again. And I'm super excited because I'm like, finally, I get to hear his voice again. I'm so excited about this. Anyways, so then he starts telling me that I deserve someone better and that like, um, I don't even remember all the details, but point is, he didn't even say it. Like, I knew he wanted to say it, so I was like, look, I know what you want to say. You want to break up. And he didn't say anything. And listen, not saying anything is an answer. And I was like, all right then so i hung up i was like have a nice life whatever point is i was trying to act all tough you know i was like yes i'm over it but like honestly after i hung up i was like super super depressed like first of all like i hadn't eaten in days i was like weak af and i was just like first i can't even go out because i'm so sick and weak like literally just walking from my room to the restroom was a struggle and so then he was just like <laughs> okay let's break up and i'm like literally out of all the weeks out of all the days this was this was it i was like this cannot be happening to me anyways i was super depressed like after that i like cried so hard my roommate thought i like broke something like a bone or something anyways <laughs> yeah it was bad and so then, so they comforted me, and honestly, like, I just kind of let loose. I cried my, like, eyeballs out. Like, I cried so much to the point I wanted to throw up just from crying. Like, I literally just crawled to the restroom, and I was just crying over the, the toilet um, bowl just in case, like, something came out. I was like, oh my gosh, I am dying here. And I never really thought heartbreak could be that that painful like physically like honestly this was the first time I, I felt this this was real it was real and so um I feel pe like people underestimate the the pain of like real heartbreak so I felt it I felt it like to the very very core of my being anyway so then I cried the whole night um my my roommates tried to cheer me up and so i'm i mean like i went to go and watch netflix with them but like like i would just start like bawling and <laughs> literally it just was like non-stop like when i thought i had no more tears left to cry or anything um i did it was a lie i really did and i cried and cried and i just couldn't understand biologically where all these tears were coming from but anyways i went to sleep crying and then i woke up and i remembered everything and I started crying again for like another five hours just there. And listen guys, like at this point I still wasn't better. So I was still in bed. I still couldn't go anywhere. I couldn't go to work or school. So I was just laying in my bed. Like my roommates were in class. I was like, wow, life sucks right now. 
and so then I just like let myself cry I'm like if I just like let it all out I'm gonna be better anyways I cried for like until like 12 p.m. and then no just kidding oh my gosh yes 12 p.m. that's right and then I was like okay you know what I've already like you know I've already come this far educationally wise school what um Ugh, what am I saying? I've already gotten here so far on my own. I'm like, I can't let this guy ruin everything that I have for myself just because I'm all depressed. You know, I, I, have, I can't stop being functional. I have to move on with my life. And so literally I got up and I started cleaning all my nasty tissues from the floor. Cause obviously like I was already sick and then crying made it like so much worse. So I got up, clean all my like, nasty tissues threw them away and i started cleaning my room i took a nice shower i got ready and then i was like listen okay do not cut your hair for a guy they don't disturb your locks okay you will regret it i don't know go buy yourself new shoes go buy yourself new clothes something else but don't you dare touch your hair for a guy listen i promise you you will regret it like I, I had to like talk to myself about it. I'm like, don't cut it, don't cut it, don't cut it. Like it's not worth it. You've been trying to grow it out for, oops, <laughs> got too excited there. I've been trying to grow out for two years. I'm like, do not cut it. So then I had this idea. I'm like, you know, you sleep on your bed and all these things. I'm like, my bed has all my bad vibes. And exactly this specific week, it had all of my bad, bad vibes. Sorry, I can't talk. And so I'm like, I'm gonna buy a new freaking comforter, a new sheet, and I'm gonna rid, get rid of the other ones. And like, it's just gonna start anew with new energy. And I'm like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. So I like got up and like, listen, I live in like a small, like small, like freaking town in Idaho. Like it's tiny. And so all we have is like Walmart, like literally. And I was not gonna about to drive to freaking Target 30 minutes away to get something like this because I could barely even walk at this moment. So I'm like, okay, let's go to Walmart. So we go to Walmart and I get a new comforter. It's like white with like little frolicly, little shanty thingies. I don't even know what they are. I just made all of that up, but it's white and it's so beautiful. And I was like, yes. So I bought myself a new comforter. Step number one, okay, or two. I am so disorganized. Point is, is that you want to cry out all your feelings and then get yourself together, okay? Your boss, you want to get a hold of your life even if in the matters of love, it's a mess. And so just cry it out loud, let it all out, you know, feeling emotions is normal. But do not stay in your bed for more than three days because of a guy, okay? Life moves on and that's what I was telling myself while I was thinking, don't cut your hair, that's number two. And then just get something new, okay? It doesn't have to be like something super big. If you want to go get a new shirt, new pair of shoes, like I did, I literally like, I did spend a lot of money on shoes and clothing as well that I don't have. So now I'm in debt, okay? I'm kidding, like a bit. But anyways, I got a new comforter. And then after that, I just lived my life, you know? Just move on. And I know it's really hard, okay? Heartbreak is real. It is kind of like very numbing and very painful, but just like, I think someone's taking a shower right now, but just don't let it stop you from moving on with life. Life still moves on. A guy broke your heart. Okay, there are so many other guys, girl. And I bet you're so cute. You're gonna have like all these guys waiting for you to like ask you out on a date. And if you're not ready, like, okay, but just don't close yourself from the world. The world needs you and so that's what i was thinking like you know yes this guy broke my heart and i had all these expectations and whatever but then i realized you know i have a job i have school i can't let this feeling of sadness keep me from doing better in school getting good grades you know getting that moolah um and so then yeah and obviously maybe i'm not the best at giving advice over like getting over a heartbreak but I, I know that this was essential for me to learn, you know? And I want to share with you, this is what I did to get over a breakup. 
and right now well like occasionally i'm not okay i listen to like you know banda and then it makes me like all depressed again but then i'm like it's okay like you know i'm gonna think about this in like a few more months and i'll be like i'm fine you know i'm glad i didn't dwell over it for like a whole i don't know more time than i did you know and then i will realize that this was a learning experience or whatever it had to be but during the whole breakup process the main thing that i want you to know um to get over a breakup is that you are loved you know you have friends you have family you have people that love you even though this guy couldn't appreciate your presence you know couldn't appreciate everything that you are okay and so to get over a breakup you have to remember who you are you have to remember how amazing you are all the things you've accomplished for yourself and that there's still people that love you and that there is still hope you know there's so many guys i keep saying this to my friends and to my mom i don't know if they like it or not but it's like guys are like money it comes and goes you know or whatever another analogy when i use it just you know there are so many it's like a flowing thing and you can't just stop it you know just continue on with your life go party with your friends go like build yourself and so this was a learning experience for me for sure um it hurt a lot this was probably the first time i've ever felt heartbreak to this degree but like it was good for me and i've met a lot of good people's people <laughs> i met a lot of good people because of him i learned a lot more of, about what i want and now i'm just kind of you know starting again that's probably honestly the worst part about breakup is that now you're kind of like in a weird single situation and you don't know what to do with yourself well um yes it's real like i don't know what to do with myself sometimes i'm like wow should i like continue dating or should just like forget about it but then um you know i'm going with this whole going with the flow thing so i've gone on some few dates but i'm not ready for something serious but I'm still living life. Probably, I don't know if this even helped you at all. I hope even my story was of some help if you're going through heartbreak. Like, the thing is, just be you. I don't want you to just be in bed the whole time. I want you to live your life. But I also want you to know that it's okay to feel. To cry once in a while and to feel like sad. But not to dwell on it and stay there. And so... Um, I'm sorry, my video was all over the mess, but I want you to know that we all go through these things and I'm sure there's someone beside you, around you, in the midst of you that is ready to, to help you move on. Um, yeah, and, and so now, now I'm okay. Um, I got my nails done if you haven't seen. Um, Valentine's Day is around the corner and I'm totally okay. It's another year without a boo, which is totally fine because I have friends, I have roommates, and I love myself, you know? I love myself. I've gotten to the point where I'm so comfortable with just being myself that um, this, was, this, this didn't bother me as much. So I hope you can too and you can just enjoy your life. Um, know that there will be a guy that will come, that will appreciate you, that will love you, that will give you his time and that make you his priority. And just wait for that, you know? It's okay to be patient. It's okay to just have some chill time with yourself before a new guy comes in. I hope this video helped you in some shape, way, or form or that you just enjoy my <laughs> story about how um, I was terribly ill and this guy broke up with me. <laughs> Um, but um, any comments, questions, stories, suggestions, please comment down below and please give a thumbs up if you liked it or if you want to support me for, you know, overcoming this in my life. Okay, guys, I love y'all and uh, wow, I don't even know where I'm looking at anymore. Okay, over here.